Yes. Yeah. You have to pack or anything? We gotta start. Ma so I started. It's so hard for mommy not to tell you. Good A plus fam, welcome back to another video. So I am sitting in the carpool lane at the kids' school, but I wanted to get this intro in before I pick them up because it is spring break and we are taking the kids on a well-deserved spring break vacation. Now they know nothing about it. Layla has kind of like been a little bit, I don't want to say sneaky, but she's kind of overheard a conversation I was having on the phone with my cousin and we were talking about Disney World and she thinks that's where we're going. We're not going to Disney World. Now Layla will be staying a little bit later from school so Santana is the first person that I'm picking up and then I have to come back around about an hour later and pick Layla up and we are going to head over to Target because I want them to pick out some new bathing suits and some swim trunks. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Melania and we are the A Plus family and I'm sorry that I, you know, my introduction to you is with a hat and I'm looking a little bit on the unkempt bummy side but we keep things real here, you know. Um, like I said, we're going on a spring break vacation, so my hair, you know, we're going to work something out for, for where we're going. But for right now, this is where we're at. I've been running errands all week. I have the sunroof open, so I know you guys can, like, hear a helicopter passing by. Where is it? I don't even see it. But yeah guys, so we're gonna head to Target. We're gonna pick out some swimming gear, some swimming attire for the kids. Um, I think I am set. I need to try mine on and make sure everything still fits because I need to start packing and also just preparing for this trip. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So I hope you guys stay tuned and make sure you guys keep watching. This is a vacation that is for the kids. This vacation and this trip is well deserved for them and I think for us too. We're gonna have a really good time. So yeah guys, stay tuned. I'm in carpool lane picking up the kids and then we're gonna head to Target and get some swimming stuff. All right guys, so I picked up the first package. Hi bud. Oh, it's kind of dark I think. Let me see. Is that a little better? I think so. How was your day? Santana. <laughs> How was your day? Good. Good? Did you learn anything today? No, nothing at all. I learned about Encanto. Encanto? Is that what you're watching at school? Why? I swear you don't learn anything at that school. It's the best school ever, but you don't learn anything. You have too much fun. All right, well, we're going to go get you something to eat. Want to get something to eat before we get Layla? Chicken. You want chicken? All right, let's go get you some chicken. Yeah, look at Santana's teeth just growing in. All right, guys, so we're going to go get Santana some food, and then we got to come back and pick up Layla. Right, bud? No. All right, guys, so it is a couple hours later, and as you can see, I have Layla in the car with me. Y'all, look at my tat. I'm so cool. You guys will not believe what happened to us well to Santana and I so after the last clip where Santana and I were gonna go get him something to eat I believe I'm driving not too far to go get him some some nuggets <coughs> and the car literally like I'm at a stop sign where there's like a whole bunch of construction going on in my right hand side at a stop sign. not a stop sign at a red light in traffic like a red light just waiting no lie we turned the air on because we were hot we were like yo let's turn the air on it's hot well we didn't say yo let's turn the air on i turned the air on for santana because he gets hot really easily turn the air on and it just started smelling bad and i'm like yo I, I have to figure out what something's up with my filter right so i'm at this red light i'm literally googling why does my air and then I put the type of my car smell because I'm trying to like figure out what do I need to do to fix this because we can't have air blowing and it's just funky like it smells bad like it smells like something is in my filter mm. I literally read it look up and there is smoke coming out of the hood of the car did Santana tell you there was smoke no I he didn't even notice I saw it when I looked up and no first he said what's that smell 
He's like, it smells so bad in here. I'm like, I know, I know, I know. I turned the air off, looked up from the phone, and there was just smoke everywhere. And I was like, my car, I looked at the gauge and the car was overheating. I mean, it was past H, right? So luckily, like I said, they were doing construction right on the right-hand side. So I just cut through the cones and parked the car. And luckily again, there was a cop right behind me with his lights on, just kind of directing traffic into one lane. I get out the car, the guy doing construction comes over, he's like, open your hood, open your hood. And I'm like, get out the car, Santana. We about to pull <laughs> Get out the car. So he gets Did out you the car. actually? <laughs> I, just, I didn't tell him, but he was scared. What's going on? You know, Santana, my kids have never really been like, when your car's like overheating or maybe like a flat tire or something, but never like the overheating part. So smoke is coming out the car. So Santana was spooked. He was like, I'm so scared, what's about to happen? And I'm like, get out of the car, it's about to blow up. <laughs> and then he got out the car, got on the sidewalk, so he's cool. And the guy's like, open the hood, open the hood. So I open the hood of the car, and there's just like liquid on the right-hand side of the car. There's just like liquid coming out. And he was like, it looks like you either have like some sort of a leak, and or, um, you just need some antifreeze so luckily enough he knew what he was talking about that's it was such a blessing and then the cop came over and he was like um when's the last time you put antifreeze he was looking at at it and he was like when's the last time you put antifreeze and i'm like um i never put antifreeze because this car is fairly new it's not a new car but but it's fairly new based on us having that accident and we had to kind of just get a car for the same value as our old car He's like, so luckily enough, he's like, do you have an antifreeze in the car? Do you have a towel? I need to open them. I'm like, no. And so he went to his the cop car and he had antifreeze and water and towels. I'm like, oh, okay. So he was prepared. So he put the antifreeze in and he was like, this should be able to get you home. Um, but you do need to go check it out and just make sure. Guys, I had to go back. Santana was hungry, so I had to get him food and I'm just driving, staring at the gauge. I had to go back to the school to get Layla and then go home and I was so worried that this was gonna happen again. I just get so like, I just hate when that kind of stuff happens because it's like unprepared. You don't plan it out. And I've taken it to the mechanic to get stuff done on it because it is an older car and there was some stuff that needed to get fixed but they couldn't even tell me that it needed antifreeze. Like they didn't even check. Like when you go get an oil change, don't they like check all your fluids and all that kind of stuff? No, they just, Check your oil. That's messed up. I can't turn the air on on that car. We're gonna take it to the shop tomorrow, but it kind of just messed up everything we had going on. But yet still, it's a blessing that we got home safely. The car did not overheat after that. We left Santana home with Ziggy and Layla's here with me. So we're still gonna go ahead and get to Target. We need to get these bathing suits and Layla's I'm also, getting my bathing suit from Shein. Layla wants to get her bathing suit from Shein. Also, she's filming a video, so I'm trying to keep on schedule. You know, I I'm quick to say no, we'll just do it the next day, but I'm really trying to keep a schedule with how we post, when we post our videos, when we film, and I'm not gonna let nothing stop us. Even an overheating car. We were in college, Ziggy and I, and this type of stuff would happen all the time, and we would just not have the means to be able to take it to the shop. So that's a blessing. And then number two, like, we would always just have to put antifreeze or water, and if it overheated, pull over on the side of the road, wait till it cools down and drive, pull over again and drive. We just didn't, weren't able. Like, we been through a lot with cars. So I'm just glad that I had the knowledge to know what was going on when I saw that smoke. I knew it was overheating. I knew it was somewhat radiator, antifreeze, you know, and I was able to kind of like communicate with the, the, the construction worker and the police officer on the car and what I didn't do and, and what I need to do and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, man, count your blessings. It's just, it's just been one of them days. It really has, but I've learned to kind of just smile through it, keep a positive attitude, and
and things happen that sometimes are out of your control. All right, y'all, we're in Target and I am exhausted. We just filmed Layla's video, so make sure you go check that out. It is buying things with the letters of her name. So L-A-Y-L-A, -L -A. she had to find something L-A-Y and an L and an A within 15 minutes. So go check that video out. Kids of the parents that are watching this, go check that video out and see if Layla was able to get all the items with the letters of her name. So now I am here looking for some bathing suits for Layla. You see she wants to order some from Shein, but the problem with that is it won't arrive in time for me for our trip it'll be way past the time we'll be on our trip and the package would be at the door so i have to convince her to just look for some here they're on sale just let her know they're 20 percent off just pick something even if it's just one and we'll try the ones she has at home but i really need her to just pick something out because we can't she and it's not going to get here on time and she really needs some bathing suits well, these are cute cover-ups Eh, that's a lot of pattern. All right, y'all. I'm gonna look through these bathing suits and see what I see for Miss Layla. All right, so Layla decided on hers right there. And now I got to figure out a swim trunk for Santana. Target, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't see like a whole bunch of options. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when they were smaller, there were more options on clothes. But now it's like, oh no. Like, mm. They don't have a size in the Spider-Man. They're okay. These aren't bad. Let's see. Wow. This is crazy. Y'all, if I don't find anything, I'm going to have to head to probably another store tomorrow and see what I can find. That ain't too bad. It's not his size. Wow. Really, y'all? What a fail of a situation right now. Much, much, much later. Okay, you guys, so I am hiding out in Layla's room because we are going to go ahead and surprise them about their spring break vacation trip that they have no idea about. So I had to run up here really quick. They're downstairs watching the Grammys and just having a good time dancing and singing along to the songs they know. This surprise has been the hardest thing for me because I, I love surprises to give to other people, but I'm horrible at keeping the secret. I'll just talk about my plans and what I gotta do and I've messed up so many times. I'm shocked that the kids didn't even catch it. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and surprise them now. Oh guys, look. Got my hair did. I am ready. We are ready to go, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's go surprise them. Mayla, come. Yeah. Papa, come. Turn like this. Okay, and close your eyes. I'm going to show you something. Close your eyes. Make sure you're close. I'm, I'm looking at you to see if your eyes are closed. You know the eyes are closed. You have to wait. I'll tell you when. That looks creepy. Where are you? Don't worry. It won't be creepy. Don't look. Don't look. Stand there. Don't look. I'll touch them. Don't look. On three, I want you to look at the screen. One, two, three. What is this? That's where we're going. Oh my god, I don't like that. I'm so scared. Wait, so after tomorrow we're leaving? Yes. Yeah. You have to pack or anything? We gotta start. Ma so I started. Hard for mommy not to tell you. So what do you think? I'm excited. You're excited? What about you, buddy? Look at this. What is it? What do you think? Hey, I'm excited. You what excited? We are leaving in <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. Yeah! Look at that one. I'm going on all of them. <laughs> oh. Guys,
guys, that's why mommy was getting you swimming suits and swim trunks and we couldn't wait for she in. That's why. All right, guys, so as you can see, the kids are super excited to be going to Great Wolf Lodge for spring break and we are leaving in two days. And they had no idea. So we're excited and stay tuned to the rest of our videos because we will be showing you our trip and just enjoying our spring break. It's well deserved. The kids deserve this. They've worked so hard from virtual school to real school to just everything, 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 everything. This was Santana's first time in an actual school. So, and they're doing really, really well. So this is a trip that's well deserved. So we are excited to be taking there. It's our first time too. So, you know, we're going to be like big kids playing up in there as well. So. We will see you guys.